Hi everybody, my name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. Welcome and thank you for joining me. We have an hour together for chair yoga. So finding a comfortable chair that is stable for you and that you have a little bit of space around you so that you won't be bumping yourself. And then settle in. Today we're going to be strengthening through the very center line of our body. So if you want to and if it feels comfortable for you, then sit away from the back of your chair. That way we're supporting our own spine and immediately we have to become a little more aware of our posture. Feet at a comfortable distance. Start right at the bottom. Picking up the toes or even the balls of the feet and wiggle those feet a little bit. Take all your awareness down to the soles of your feet. Just and then allow the feet to settle down onto the floor. Really get a good connection downwards to the soles of your feet, even the bottoms of each toe. Notice that you are fully supported, whatever that surface is underneath you. Allow the weight of your legs to relax into that. You might even notice as you do that, that that ripple of relaxation washes up from further up your body than you may have considered. From there, we'll do the same thing with our seat. Sitting deeply into the chair, allowing the weight of our upper body to sit into that support. You can wiggle from side to side if you want. As you do that, you might notice the base of the pelvis. So it's two kind of bony bits underneath you. You can even take the flesh of your seat away from you so you get connected down to that point. From there, allowing the upper body to sit in that support. And again, relaxing any tension or tightness you may not even have noticed that were there. So our lower body from the pelvis down is connected downwards. And we have this rooting. So even imagining that everything from the pelvis downwards is like a tree root growing down deep and wide. And from there, just like a tree, through the center line of our body, lifting up towards the ceiling, towards the sky, allowing the crown of the head to rise, allowing the shoulders to soften back and down, broadening across the collarbones, and noticing if it feels better for you to decide where it is your upper body needs to be in relation to your hips. So notice if you're sitting back a little bit or more forward, and consider stacking the head, heart, and hips above one another. That way, again, we're taking into consideration that center line of the body. Rooting to rise. So at any moment in the practice, we can come back to this connected downwards and this lifting up from there and broadening just like a tree, just like the branches of a tree. As you're here, take a giant breath in, in your own time and way, all the way to the top of your breath, hold for a beat, and then exhale, allow tension to soften from your body. So we keep the posture, but we relax any tightness. Do that a couple of times. Big breath in, hold the breath, notice the tension there, and then exhale, relax and loosen. And if that means making adjustments in your body to soften your posture, go ahead. This is all about taking what I guide you in as a suggestion and deciding for yourself how you can adjust that or change it to feel better in your body. There's absolutely no way you can do this um, wrong. This is about your way, certainly not my way or anybody else's way. Settle the breath back down to its own natural rhythm and feel free to soften your gaze down, lower your gaze, or even go ahead and close your eyes. 
And we take a moment here as the breath settles and the body settles to tune in and notice how you're feeling. And maybe things come up, things that have been on your mind, concerns or worries. Maybe other things arise. Notice how your heart feels, if there are any emotions present. And see if you can welcome them all in equally and not discerning between them. Like, I don't want to feel that one, but that one's good. Just allow everything to arise and acknowledge them. That way we get to tune inwards and really understand how we're feeling and move into our practice from there rather than discarding how we're feeling. And take your awareness inside your body. Notice tension, tightness, discomfort. Allow yourself the freedom to move and shift your body to accommodate any tension and tightness or if you need to loosen any particular areas. And then start to notice the quieter places in your body. The places maybe you never really notice because it's fine. Maybe places you have little or no awareness to. Your inner elbow or right between your shoulder blades or the tip of your nose. Just notice all the places that in this moment are fine. In fact, see if you can take a journey through the body now from the crown of your head with your awareness, scanning downwards slowly through your body, noticing it all. And you might become aware of the fact your consciousness is drawn more to tightness or tension, but allow that conscious choice to spread throughout everything. All the way down without any spinning of stories or narratives. Oh, this hurts because of, or I'm aching here because I did. Just allow all the narratives to fly out of the window and just be present with sensations in your body all the way down to the soles of your feet. And then when you're ready, with those eyes softened, lowered or closed, take your awareness inside your body to a place that feels like center to you. And for some of us, it may be like way up in our head. Some of us, it may be in our heart. Some of us, it may be solar plexus or belly. Somewhere in the middle line of the body that feels like center to you. There's no right, there's no wrong. And I'm not talking about center of gravity. I'm talking about an energetic center. And if nothing arises, then just simply choose a place. Again, there's no doing this wrong. And when you've chosen or a place arose that feels like center, with those closed eyes or lowered gaze, get really familiar with that place. You might even put a little color or a light in that place. And then visualize, imagine, or sense the center line of your body in your own way. And if you're not visual, then just get a sense of that center line through the plumb line of your body. And it doesn't mean that we're perfectly symmetrical. Um, that's not what I'm talking about. We're never looking for perfect. We're always looking for just what's present in this moment. And then somewhere along that line, it's going to be that place of center, wherever it is for you. And I want you to start to take the breath up and down at that center line. And if it's comfortable for you, breathing in and out through the nose, inhaling up through the center line, any height, exhaling down. So it's almost like an elevator coming up and down in your own time and way. And when you're ready, starting to 
lengthen the inhale just a little bit and deepen the exhale so that elevator maybe gets a little further up a little further down again bigger is not better we're just expanding the breath in your way and if you found a breath length that is perfect for you an effort that is perfect then stay with that and we're going to steady that elevator that central point bringing it up on the inhale and down on the exhale in your own way and it may go further up from your body don't limit yourself to the crown of your head or um, your seat so we start to really get an energetic connection and a breath connection to that center line of the body so we've got those longer steadier breaths in and out Imagining, sensing, or feeling that elevator breath coming up and down. And then when you're ready, release any tension, any forcing that may have crept into your body or your breath as that happened. So there's a softening. Any adjustments you need to make, go ahead. And the center line, this elevator breath, is what we'll keep coming back to today. And as you consider that center line breath, consider whether you want to adjust your body in any way that realigns with that breath coming up and down. Inhaling and exhaling. Beautiful. And this is the breath that you can come back to at any time. And if it doesn't work for you, throw it out the window and come back to a breath that works for you. Always that opportunity to adjust or adapt or shift your body in some way to release tightness, tension. The less we force, the more we simply can allow. I take that right hand dangling down. Turning the right palm up from the elbow on the inhale, lifting up so that elevator breath lifts, exhaling down to the rhythm of your breath. The body loves it, the central nervous system loves it when we move our body with the rhythm of our breath. It reduces the stress response, enhances the relaxation response option to stay here option to start to move from the shoulder and that left hand can take hold of the side of the chair if you wish bigger isn't better here so just allow that arm to come as high as the breath that elevator breath brings you and that exhale just as slow and steady as that elevator breath down option to take that arm overhead and that's where you may need the support of that left hand on the chair and notice as we're coming out of balance how again and this is um, the focus of today is that center line of the body and again take any support you may need we can keep those joints, elbows, wrists, fingers and thumbs nice and soft or if it feels better for you, reaching through, up and maybe even over. Another three on this side. Breathing into the right side of the ribs and of course mirroring you. Last one here. Fingertips come all the way down. They can support you at the side of the chair or um, supporting on the right leg or the arm of your chair. Left palm turns up with that elevator breath, inhaling up from the elbow, exhaling palm down. Don't worry about what angle this is. It happens to be on the side of my body. If it feels better to come out in front, then just again, take anything that I say as a suggestion and make it your own. Option to start to allow that to come from the shoulder. Elevator breath. 
and you don't need to see anything here on certainly on the screen if you want to lower your gaze soften your gaze close your eyes you get an internal experience of this allowing those joints to be easy With that right hand supporting you if you like that arm can come up and over notice how that feels in your body to be off center if you are coming over to the right Notice if there's a point that it feels like you're collapsing and see if you can stay back from that point. So before that happens in your body, another three here. Elevate your breath, taking that breath up and all the way down. Always stopping and resting if that feels better for you. And then the next time those left fingertips come all the way down, we're going to take both arms next to us and roll those shoulders again. Feel free to close the eyes, go inwards. Notice how you experience this. Keeping the center line of your body with that breath traveling along it as neutral as possible so the movement really is in the shoulders. Staying back from that biggest range of motion. So there's a quality of ease there. And then we'll take that round in the opposite direction. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. And the next one, we'll take the hands back to support on your thighs. If there's any other movement that you want to do to release the tension, go ahead. And then from here, if you are sitting into the back of your chair, now could be a time that you shuffle forward a little bit if it feels stable for you as we come into cat and cow, seated cat and cow. So we're rooting feet in seat. Rising from there, we still have that elevator breath going. On the inhale, we're dragging the heels of the hands back, heart opens, and on the exhale, fingertips slide forward as we draw the back of the ribs in towards the back of the chair. Inhaling extension in the spine, exhaling flexion. So again, allow this to be your own. There's no particular way this needs to be. It can be as big or as small a movement as feels good in your body. If you want to get into the neck, on the inhale, lifting up the gaze, only so much that the throat is not, um, oh, what's the word? <laughs> that the throat is not constricted. So if, you, um, if I lift my chin up really far, then I feel like I can't swallow and breathe. That's past the part, Point that we want to go to. So just lifting and opening your mouth can help with that on the inhale. And on the exhale, drawing the chin in towards the chest, we start to get into that cervical spine, which is the top of that center line of the body. And if that doesn't feel good to you, then keep the head neutral, keep the eyes fixed in front of you, or lowered, softened, or closed. Come down the center line of the body. So the inhale may be coming down to send that tailbone out behind you. We get that arch in the lower back. And on the exhale, sitting over onto the back of the pelvis. So we're getting down in through the lower belly and back. And if that doesn't feel good to you, no need to do it. Inhaling and exhaling. If you want to, if this feels good here with the hands sliding up and down on the top of your legs or the arms of your chair, then perfect. To add on here, we're just changing up um, the center of gravity a little bit. So getting into strengthening through that center line. Hands are dangling down just like we did wide collarbones. On the inhale, as we extend, the arms come up as wide or as close together as feel good. And on that exhale, as you round down, hands can come down, maybe even back behind you. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. And again, 
This puts a whole lot more work into that center line of the body. So if it doesn't feel good for you, the arms are just an extension of the spine. So we'll take the hands back to the thighs if you prefer. Otherwise, three more wherever you are. Inhaling and exhaling. Allow this to enhance the movement through the spine. Slow and steady. That elevator breath brings the breath all the way up to the top and that elevator down all the way down to the bottom of the breath. And then we're coming all the way back to center. Allow those hands to dangle down just with momentum. Allow the arms to come forward and back. Center line of the body is um, still stable, just the arms swinging here. And then allowing those arms to get a little slower. Inhaling, one arm up, maybe even back behind you a little. Exhaling down, inhaling the next arm up. But again, just getting in touch with that center line of the body. The arms are um, used here, but the spine completely neutral, as neutral as possible. Mm -hmm. Taking the arms all the way down. Any soft movements you need, please go ahead. And then from here, taking hands interlaced, opposite forearms, opposite elbows, whatever feels good to you. And that's just gonna feel different depending on what feels good in your shoulders. As if you're kind of rocking a baby here. One arm on top, one arm on the bottom. And again, maybe you just have your um, arms interlaced. Rooting to rise, center line, that elevator breath. And then we're just gonna take those arms in circles here. Keeping the spine as neutral as possible, crown of the head reaching up. Taking circles through those elbows. And again, if you get here and you feel like you need widened or closer arms, then please go ahead and adjust. Option to stay here with the spine neutral. Option to start to bring a twist into it. So we're just taking the heart with us, maybe the gaze comes with us, or maybe your um, eyes are fixed ahead, or you've got closed eyes, lowered eyes, soft eyes. Bring that spinal twist and allow it to be as neutral as possible, so not forced, allowing, not forcing. Maybe even take the gaze behind those shoulders, depending on what feels good, any dizziness, then you're stopping, coming back to center, coming back to that breath. Notice which direction you're going in. And then when you're ready, coming back to a neutral spine, keep the arms going. Next, exhale. We're pausing, take a breath if you want. And we're going around in the opposite direction, keep it small. You know where we're going, so take it easy. There's no rush to get there. Maybe this direction feels a little different. Maybe you need to adjust the arms. Opposite arm on top here, if that feels good to you, it's gonna feel a bit awkward. Allowing that to get as big or as small as you like. Neutral spine. And then the option is to start to allow the heart, maybe the gaze to come with you. Center line breath. So even though you're moving here, still that connection to the midline of your body. Maybe the gaze comes back over the shoulder. Again, any dizziness, then you're coming back to center, stopping the movement, focusing on the breath. Nice and soft breath without quality or forcing. Got another three here on the second one. Come back with a neutral spine if you haven't already. And then settling those arms down and releasing. Any movement you need to release any tension, go ahead. Come back to that elevated breath. 
And then from here, we're taking the feet a little wider. If you need more support, sitting back on your chair, if you need less support, coming forward. And if you're unsure of where to be, sit back on your chair so you have more support as we're coming. Uh, the option is to come forward here, so I really want you to feel nice and stable. And then if you need to adjust coming forward because you feel more steady in the movement, then that's fine. Rooting down to rise, so we get connected down with those feet and with your seat. Don't worry about the broadness of the external rotation in your hips. One side may feel very different, and if um, hips parallel or feet parallel feel better to you, then go ahead and do whatever it is that you need. You're gonna take those hands, interlace them in front of you. And then from here, we're gonna send those knuckles up towards the sky, and on the exhale, flatten the hands, send the palms all the way down to the floor. Inhaling, just with that elevator breath, allow the hands to mirror the breath. Arms can come as high or as low as you want them to. You can stretch them all the way up. Maybe they only come to your heart. Exhale again, down any amount that you like. Trying to keep the spine as neutral and as possible, rooting to rise so we're not moving through the spine and moving through the arms. Get a sense of that again. Close the eyes, soften the gaze. And if you want to stay here with a neutral spine, if you want to add on, heart starts to lift, maybe the gaze lifts with those knuckles. On the exhale, rounding forward as we take the knuckles a little bit further down. So here I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me. On the inhale, we've got extension through the spine, an arch. On the exhale, drawing the belly in towards the spine and coming forward any amount that suits you and again consider that center line of the body that elevator breath chin only comes up as far as you don't constrict the throat again opening the mouth at the top of there can help with softening the throat get very conscious of that mid line of the body Always shuffling back in your chair if you need more support. Only doing as much as feels comfortable in your body. We've got two more. Strengthening through that center line, that plumb line. Still that elevator breath. And at the end of the very next exhale, wherever that is for you, we're coming all the way back to center. Keeping those fingers interlaced, and then we're gonna reach those fingers apart, interlace them with the opposite thumb and first finger on top. And it's gonna feel slightly weird. Rooting to rise. And now taking that um, connection to the center line of the body off center, so now we're gonna take those arms in a figure of eight. So we're up here, crossing over at the center and then down. Allow the wrists to do their own movement. There's no right and wrong here. So drawing, you can have the knuckles in front of you. If you want drawing a figure of eight in front of you. And then from there, allowing that to get a little bigger if you like, and then we start to get a little out of balance where the center line of the body has to do a little bit more. And then you can come forward a little bit like we did. You can come back, whatever feels good to you. Make sure that the breath is even and that the movement feels as fluid as the breath. And you feel stable, not at any point do you feel thrown off balance that you can't control it. And then allow that movement, if it got big, to get a little smaller. Coming back to that neutral spine. Notice which direction you're going in. 
and then pause and then we're going to take those figure of eights around in the opposite direction allowing the movement of the wrist and arms to be as natural and as easy for you it doesn't have to look like anybody else's neutral spine keeping that breath going up and down the central channel of the body and then we can allow that movement to get a little bigger if you like and get into extension and flexion as big or as small as feels good but still your awareness is through the breath through the center line of the body this is giving the brain a lot to do extension and flexion make that as big or as small as you like you can always rest whenever you need to and then we're coming back to a smaller movement allowing the spine to be neutral the hands come back to your center and then releasing coming back and just like a snow globe when you shake it the energy is all over the place allow that energy to settle center line that elevator breath the less you force, the more you can allow. Nicely done. And then when you're ready, bringing the feet back into center, settling down, allowing that energy to settle. Get that connection from the pelvis all the way down to the feet held by the support underneath you. Lifting from there, broad through the collarbone, soft through the shoulders, soften the gaze, lower the gaze, close the eyes. Until you feel all that energy has settled again. Coming back to that one focus on the breath coming up and down. And notice how your body feels now after that movement. Stay here for as long as you like, settling that energy. And if you would like to, for the remainder of the class, I'm going to be teaching from down on the earth. You can absolutely do what we're doing on the earth from the chair. So we're going to be creating some pressure, which is again strengthening through the center line of the body, hands and um, legs. We're going to be coming into a little bit of external rotation. And if you have a block, you can take that foot up onto the block. You don't have to have your ankle all the way up onto that thigh. And then we're going to come into um, some gentle twists before we come to relaxation. So I will meet you down on the earth for those of you who want to be there. See you there. And here we are down on the earth, coming all the way down to our back. Make sure you have everything you need close at hand for relaxation so you don't have to get up again. If you need extra layers, if you want um, water handy, if you've got blankets, eye pillows, anything like that, all of that good stuff and we'll take it all the way down to the earth taking any softness you need underneath you and soles of the feet are to the floor knees to the sky once again once we're down here we consciously adjust our body so maybe picking up the hips readjusting your shoulders your head Get a sense of it from the inside. So closing the eyes, softening the gaze. Noticing the support underneath you, just like we did with our feet in seat. And then making any adjustments that feel better in your body.
come back to that center line of the body and start to take that elevator breath all the way up, maybe even through the crown of your head and down. So we're reoriented here, lying down, so getting that connection down to the center line, which can be more challenging. Um, sitting up seems a little bit more intuitive, but we're still focused on that center line of the body. If there's any tension, tightness that's built up just because you're here, see if you can adjust your body in some way that you release that, maybe that takes an intuitive movement. And from here, and this depends on the length of your bones, we're gonna take the hands towards the thighs. So maybe you wanna bring your heels a little closer to you or maybe a little further apart. And this may be challenging if, the, um, if your bones are not as long as you want to reach. And there's no right or wrong here. So if you want to and you have something like a yoga block, you can bring your legs to you. Um, taking the palms of the hands into the thighs or again, um, anything that you have for support, maybe a really firm pillow. And we're starting to build up pressure. So on the inhale, we're building up pressure, pushing down into the thighs or that support and exhale, we're releasing. Again, still focus on that center line of the body. Only as much pressure as feels good to you. So you're feeling the strength of your arms connect to um, through the palms of your hands, keep the shoulders soft and back and down so we're not crunching up towards the ceiling. So we've got this openness through the chest. Keep that connection up and down through the center line of the body. And again, we're giving the brain a lot to do here. An option to keep this going, pulsing on the inhale, we start to connect those palms towards the thighs. And on the exhale, we release. And nobody knows how much or how little that you're doing. So just um, doing what feels right to you. And again, pulsing is a fantastic place to stay. Option to stay here. Option to lift the knees above the hips, maybe even the knees above the belly button and the heels down. This is option number two. Hands coming towards the thighs. We're going to be doing the same thing here inhaling pressure and this time the thighs are pushing into the palms too and exhale release now the further those knees are over the hips or maybe even away from you the more challenging this is for your core the central thing is the breath so if you've lost the breath then come back to the breath back of the body is connected deeply into the earth so we're on the inhale we're pressuring on the exhale we're releasing if you want to add more, heels come up knee height, and there we are. Again, the further away the knees are, the more challenging it's going to be for that center line of your body. So if the knees feel better over the belly button, we can build up inhaling pressure, exhaling release. Wherever you are, option to keep that pressure going and keep the breath going up and down through the center line of the body. Don't allow the belly to arch here, the um, belly drawn in towards the spine, so you're imprinting the lower back on the mat. Shoulders are still connected. And we're here for another two hours. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's take another three breaths there. If you need to rest, please do. Inhaling and exhaling, building up that warmth through the center line of the body. We've got more or less one more full breath to do. And on that exhale, you can either bring the knees in towards the chest, give yourself a little hug, or taking the feet back down to the earth. Hands on the belly, come back to that center line breath. Elevate your breath up and down. Option to stay here. Option to take anything that we did before. Or we're going to come back to wherever you were. Feet on the floor, 
knees lifted, maybe the heels are lifted, and we're going to cross over the arms onto the opposite thigh. Same thing here on the inhale, pushing thighs into the hands, hands into thighs, exhaling, releasing. Only as much as feels good here. Now, if this doesn't work in your body because the crossover, um, because of the length of your bones, it doesn't work, just take your palms to your thighs in the place um, um, parallel. And again, the further the knees are away from you, the more challenging this is. Option to stay here or keep that pressure going, keep the breath going for the next few breaths. Let's take five breaths here, whether you're pulsing or keeping that steady. More or less another two breaths, only as much pressure as feels good to you. Notice which hand is on top if you're crossed over. And then on the exhale, give yourself a little hug, any kind of movement or taking the um, feet down to the earth. And we've got one more set to go. And if you're done, you're done, no big deal. Rest, focusing on that elevate your breath coming up and down or well, the option is to come back to wherever you were opposite hand on top and again if this doesn't work hands are parallel or you've got a yoga block between your hands and your thighs to extend the length of your bones and then from there pulsing inhaling steadying um, that pulse between the thighs coming up and the palms coming down and releasing Elevate your breath, so we're still focused on the breath coming up and down without effort. And then the option is here to keep pulsing or just stay. Stay with that pressure, thighs pushing up into the hands, hands pushing down into the thighs. The breath is steady. You've got that visual coming up and down through the center line of the body. More or less three more breaths-ish. Rest whenever you need to. Belly's drawn down into the mat so we're not arching into the spine there. One more breath. And on that exhale, release that pressure. Draw the knees in for a well-deserved hug. Give yourself a little bit of a rock and roll there. And then the feet, soles of the feet down to the floor, knees to the sky once more, drawing that right knee in, give it a little hug. You can even circle through that ankle. We do like to get as much joint moving in as possible, that joint freeing. And then round in the opposite direction, just for fun. From here, coming to stillness, right out to ankle, over onto the left thigh, and here we are in thread the needle. Now, the further that heel is away from you, the easier that is in the right hip. The closer it is towards you, the more challenging it is. So you get to choose. Right foot is flexed, toes drawing back towards the shins. Excellent place to be. Again, that central line of the body, even though we're not symmetrical here. And then from there, option to stay. Option to take the side of the thigh, back of the thigh, or even in front of that shin with the hands, depending again on the length of your bones. Both feet are up, both feet are flexed, toes back towards the shins. And we're breathing in and out, up and down through that center line of the body. Getting into that outer hip. Always adjusting things for your body, and we know what feels good in your body because the breath is easy, steady. The option is to stay here or bringing that center line, that strengthening through the center line of the body. You're going to release that grip, and the left thigh is drawing into the right outer right ankle. The right ankle is drawing away, and we've got connection here. Same thing we were just doing, building up that warmth through the center of the body with released hands. If that left ankle is down, it'll be um, less work. If it's up at knee height, it'll be more work. And you've got some steady breaths here. 
If you need to come back to support with your hands, go ahead. Otherwise, arms and a cactus or a T or down by your hips. And let's take another three breaths. Again, as much or as little pressure as feels good here. Maybe there's some shaking that's starting, embracing that or readjusting the amount of pressure. One last breath. And on that exhale, taking the left foot down, releasing any tension. And then the right foot comes down too. Windshield wiper those knees a little bit to release tension. And then the left knee draws in when you're ready, circling through the ankle. If that feels right to you, again, it's nice to get that full range of motion in. I'm going to take that around in the opposite direction. Center line of the body is still that elevator breath coming up and down. Coming back to stillness with that ankle. Ankle flex, toes back towards the shins. And then the option is to take that left ankle over the right thigh. And again, adjusting that foot to what feels best in that left hip for you. No right and wrong, just about working with your body. And even without the symmetry in the body here, not that the body is perfectly symm um, symmetrical, that's a myth, but we've got two different things going on, either side and the legs. Also getting connected to that central line, even with that offset there. And the option is to draw the right thigh in, hands to the thigh, behind the knee or in front of that shin. Both feet flex, so the toes coming back towards the shins. Breathing into that left hip. If you need to do less, take the foot away from you. If you want more of a sensation, then snuggle that right thigh in towards your belly. Keep the breath going through the center line of the body. Always, always keeping the breath as your key. The breath is guiding you. If you lose the breath, do less or come back to a neutral place where you can find the breath again. Option is to stay here. If you want to warm up that center line once again, then we're sending the left ankle into the right thigh. Right thigh is drawing back in, releasing the hands all together. Hands next to your thighs on your belly. You can take it into cactus or a T shoulder height. And we're breathing here. Still that elevated breath, effort is released, trying to find as much ease as possible, even within this challenge. Another couple of breaths here. Belly is not popping up into the ceiling. We've got that belly drawn down into the spine, so we're imprinting our back into the mat. And stay for one more breath, I think that was a little longer. And then when you're ready, right foot comes down left foot comes down to the floor and then from there with the feet down on the floor we're going to shift the hips to the right side if you need support and um, blocks or a bolster on that left side as we're coming into a twist knees draw up shoulders are rooted down on the earth using that core strength that center line strength that we've been working on we're drawing the knees over to the left option to stay with that core strength for a few breaths so right hip is up off the floor knees are in the air and we're holding that there for a few breaths right shoulder is connected down to the earth building up that heat through the center of the body staying here or to get that nice soft relaxation taking the knees all the way to the left Maybe support underneath them and allow that right hip to shift back, uh, right knee to shift back so the, the knees aren't on top of each other, they're in a comfortable place for you. Again, you can take something between your knees, like a blanket, a pillow. Right shoulder connected to the earth, taking the gaze over that right shoulder and taking a few breaths here. Always adjusting the height of the knees to suit your body. There's no right and wrong. Even with the knees over to the side, can you take the breath up and down through 
that center line of the body here. Allow the muscles to soften and loosen. When the gaze comes to center, when you're ready, drawing the belly in towards the spine to connect into the center line of the body and we're drawing the knees up to the sky. Feet to the floor, shift the hips to center and then over to the left in your own time. Knees come up, shoulders are rooted and then we're just shifting the knees to the right. Left hip is lifted here, so we're really um, moving into the strength through the center line of the body, hovering here any amount. And if you're really using your arms for that, you can even lift the arms up so you know that the strength is coming from the core of the body. And when you feel like it, sending the knees all the way to the right side, left shoulder is rooted. If that left shoulder is rooted, the gaze can come to the left. Inhaling and exhaling. Keep the breath steady. And again, adjusting the height of those knees as you need to. Keep that breath going through the center of the body in your own way, your own rhythm. Allowing muscles to loosen, joints to soften. When you're ready, the gaze comes to center. The knees come up to center, soles of the feet to the floor and shift back into the center line. And you have a few options here for the end of your practice. You can draw your knees in, give yourself a little rock and roll. You can take some happy baby. You can take the feet and um, wrists up towards the ceiling in movement or stillness. Just realigning your body in your own way. There's no right and wrong here. You can take some knee circles, anything at all. Finishing off your practice for the last few moments. Stay for as long as you like in your chosen shape or shapes. And then when you're ready, sliding into your relaxation. So maybe the knees stay up towards the ceiling, towards each other, heels apart, constructive rest or coming all the way down into traditional relaxation. Any lower back issues, take a bolster or roll the blanket underneath the back of the thighs to soften um, into the back of the body. And as you get set up, I'm gonna be coming up to seated. And if seated or on your side or on your belly feels better for you, then please go ahead. There's no right and wrong way also for relaxation. In yoga, there's so many, um, there's so many preconceptions. So see if you can break out of those preconceptions and make it your own. Making any adjustments that you need to. Settling in, settling down, listening to your body. And once you're settled, starting to come back to that sense of that central line of your body. And the breath coming up and down, maybe this time from the heels all the way up to the crown of your head or further on the inhale, exhale, just as steady all the way down to your feet. And I invite you here without effort to start to shorten that inhale and lengthen the exhale. So that breath up through the center line of the body gets a little smaller, but that exhale is 
a little slower all the way down through the center line of the body, maybe even to the heels or past the heels. So we start to lengthen the exhale breath. If there's any forcing that's creeping into that breath, let it go. We've got another three breaths, just that longer exhale breath. In your own way, your own length, and you can always ignore me. Just settling down the nervous system. More or less one more breath, following that breath all the way out. And then we simply let go of the breath entirely. Let it come back to its smaller breath. Take all of your awareness away from the breath and into your body. Crown of your head to the soles of your feet to the palms of your hands. Slide your awareness into the right side of your body. The whole right side of your body, like if you just drew a line down the center of it. Be aware of the whole right side of your body, all sensation. Maybe you get a sense of energy. to the left side of the body. Again, as if you drew a line down the center of your body, taking in everything. Everything that arises without needing to filter anything. sensation, anything that arises at all. And then allow your awareness to drift to your entire body here. From the crown of your head to the tip of your fingers and toes. Back body, front body, whole body, inside body, outside body. to to leave the body as it is and float free no agenda no nothing allow yourself to be Staying in this expanded awareness for as long as you wish. For those of you who would like to finish your practice, start to draw your awareness back into your body, crown of your head to the tip of your toes and fingertips, connecting down to the earth underneath you, whatever that is, whether it's a chair, whether it's a bed, a sofa, the floor, your mat. Feeling your body as it rests. The energy of your body. 
can take a moment to notice how you feel after your practice. to breath, steadying that breath, maybe drawing it in as if it were literally your life force, which is what yoga teaches us the breath is, not just air, but energy for life. Inhale as if you were breathing into every cell, exhale any last bits of tension and tightness away and out. And then start to bring some awakening movements back into your body in your own way. There's no right and wrong way to be. And if you wish to stay as you are to finish up your practice, then please do. Again, no right and wrong here. For those of you who wish to come to a place that you would like to finish up your practice, whatever that means for you, maybe that simply just means a hand gesture over the heart or in your lap or giving yourself a hug, or maybe it means coming to a seat or to standing. Settling down into the support underneath you. You always have that support, always held. Hands again in that gesture that suits you. Take a big breath in on an exhale, chin down towards your chest, honoring your heart, your body, Thank yourself for your practice. I thank each and every one of you. From my heart to yours, many, many 